the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey and today we're here for another beginners. Let's play. We're gonna be continuing this series After all this stuff now, I know guys I've been a little busy I had to skip two days of videos just because of school. It's just been difficult had a lot going on Just didn't have time to get them out, but I'm gonna be back on schedule now Keep those videos afloat and then keep them coming to you guys to watch now uh, One thing I want to say Saturday. I'm going to be doing a live stream on proletariat's channel I believe I'm not sure if it's gonna be connected to it or not. I'm not sure how but we're gonna be raising money for a Boston Hospital Children's Healthcare foundation thing and we're gonna be helping raising money for them. So it's gonna be really awesome We're gonna help just raise money for these guys. Um, definitely gonna go just towards helping the kids who are sick and it's just a really good cause. I want to be a part of it. So I'm going to be streaming on Saturday. If you have are not following Proletariat on their Twitter or anything, they've been talking a lot about it. It's going to be awesome. Looking forward to it. But let's get on to this beginners. Let's play, guys. I mean, I'm excited for this. I'm ready. So continuing on, where did we leave off? Okay, I did just upgrade my uh, gunfighter to level three. So I'm excited for that. And right now we are need to get 1,200 trophies on Vancouver. I mean, knock that out. Alrighty, so let's see. I'm gonna keep what I have set up there. I'm definitely gonna bring it along this machine gunner. Now, to all of you who are new, the machine gunner is in what we call OP unit, overpowered. He is unreal. He can just tear up anything in his path. And with that being said, he's going in the middle. And you know what he's gonna be defended by? My level five firefighters. So we're gonna work with that. Alright, so what am I gonna be doing is i'm going to be checking out the hospital locations okay so we have one way back there i'm not too worried about that i think we should pr be pretty well prepared for this so i'm actually going to move these guys over here i'm going to have that fire f okay the firefighters are there defended we're good all right so it looks like we're only going to be having wave three two and three from these two pads right here and we're going to have all three coming down this path right here. So we're going to go ahead and start these waves. We're only going to have one wave coming down that pathway. So I'm not too worried about that. We should be pretty set. Once they get in range of that machine gunner, they're just going to tear them all up. And they're not going to stand a chance. And we'll be good. So as you can see, the machine gunner is loading up. And I'm going to speed this up just a tad. And as you can see, he just starts going to town on these guys. No problem whatsoever. So over here, we're going to have some more stuff. So I'm going to throw down two lumberjacks and some of these level three gunfighters right here. So we're just going to work on tearing up this area over here. Just to completely knock it out. I'm not going to stem them up. I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to go ahead and send that wave, get some extra trophies, and that's good. All right. Let's slow this down a little bit. Slow down the gameplay. All right. I'm going to stem up this group right here. We need to take out the behemoths ASAP as fast as possible because if we don't take them out soon, we're going to be in some big trouble. All right. So I'm going to throw down a – can't throw down a gunfighter. Where are these guys going? Please get away from my hospital. Thank you. Yeah, go back there. Go back to where you were last. Let's stem up the sniper here. Take out that infector. Come on. You can do it. Boom. Sniped. We got 299. What's our time go bonus going to be? 79. I'll take that. Good trophies. 378. Working our way towards 1,200. So... Next attack, we're going to be breaking down. So most of the things that we were seeing from that map were a lot of runners and infectors and a couple colossuses slash brutes. And pretty much the one thing we're going to be want to be doing is we're going to have one have some melee troops. We're going to need those guys. So I think definitely want to bring along some firefighters. Uh, Captain Zeta is always nice. I mean, can't complain. I didn't use her, but it's always nice to have. She'll just tear it up. So lumberjack's great against drones. Those are going to be really good against those pads that only have the infectors and the runners because they're low health, high damage, but I mean, these lumberjacks can take a hit, so I'm not too worried about that. Sniper's always nice to help cause a ton of damage to those colossuses. So let's get another attack in. I'm going to borrow... Let's just borrow a sniper. That'll work. So I'll kind of break it down on this attack right here. We're going to kind of see what we can do attacking in Vancouver. All right. So we're going to have a bulk of attacks over here. We're going to have two waves. So I'm just going to kind of set up shop over here so we can have a solid little group of people going on over here. So I'm going to throw down at least one lumberjack. I think we will be fine with that. Let's put down one fire chief. And Captain Zeta is going to be over here as well. She's going to help just hold down the fort here. And let's put one gunfighter. That way we should solidify the defense right there. And we should be 100% good there. No worries at all. All right, right here, I'm going to be putting down a lot of melee units. We're going to have a 
bunch of snipers chilling back here. Their job is to sit back, relax, and just do their thing. Just snipe away, take out zombies, help out these guys that are going to be in the middle. And for the rest, let's throw down another gunfighter. You know what? Hmm. Based on what I'm seeing here, let's throw down another one. We're going to need that extra gunfighter. So let's start these waves. Go ahead and send that one. Well, it's not going to give me any points anyway. But these guys are setting up snipers, getting ahead of the game right here. Taking down as many drones as they can. Here comes that Colossus just wallowing in. And the snipers are getting a couple hits on him. Down he goes. That just makes my life 100% easier. So much easier. So let's send that one. We're going to get some extra trophies by sending a group early. So if you double tap it, it'll send it away. If you're ready, it'll send it for you. Get some extra trophies. Get a few extra points. I think it's always worth it. If you guys want to get a couple extra points in there, they may help a little bit. But I think it's definitely worth having. So I'm just going to go ahead and send that. I think my group can handle it over there. But these snipers are just going to town. Um, all these melee troops going to work. Doing great. Doing phenomenally. Just good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and send this because there's nothing happening over here. Oh, the snipers need to take out the Colossus. Come on. Right there. Take them out. Boom. All right. I'm not too worried about this. I'm going to stunt these guys because we have two Colossus over here. No snipers. All we're doing is we can slowly take them out. Come on. Come on. Take them out for me. Down he goes. Looks like we got a couple drones. And this infector, I don't know where you're going. So I'm just going to use that gunfighter to take him out. And that's it. 231 trophies plus 79. That gets us up to 310. And we are working our way. So I think we're going to have one more attack. And that will be the end of Vancouver. So basically what I'm seeing here is you're going to definitely need some snipers to cause problems with those uh, awful colossuses. You're going to need some snipers for that. Melee troops your choice. I would personally recommend bringing along some lumberjacks they're going to be great against all of this so you're going to definitely need one melee troop lumberjack recommended or fire chief firefighter sniper definitely and i think that the gunfighter always comes in handy just because it cause a little bit extra problems for those mutated zombies and drones so that's basically what i'm gonna you're gonna want to have so let's get to it this final attack and this should finish off this objective for vancouver so based on what i'm seeing here we're going to have one wave coming down this path, so I'm not going to put too much down there, but they're getting three mutated zombies. We're getting the Colossus, the Runner, and the Infector all on this one pad right here. I'm going to focus on this area first. I feel like this is going to be causing the most problems for us. I'm going to put this little group of snipers right over here. We're only going to have two this time because I didn't borrow one, but we should be fine anyway. So I'm going to put two Lumberjacks, one Firefighter. Captain Zeta is going over here as well, and let's put one Gunfighter here. And let's move these guys in position over here. I'm going to move these guys over here. We're going to have the last lumberjack there. Two of the level three gunfighters. Firefighter and a paramedic. Paramedic's nice. I mean, it could heal up that firefighter if we need a little extra juice. And over here, I'm going to throw down three fire chiefs. And let's put down... Let's fill in the rest with gunfighters here. They're all level one, but I think they should be able to hold strong here. It's only going to be until wave two, so... First off, we're going to be coming with a group right over here. <clears throat> and we're pretty much going to town. All right, in goes those melee troops. Take them out. No problem at all. Lumberjack is just cutting through those zombies, tearing them up. Gunfighters are just going to town. Goodness gracious, it's lockdown defense over there. Let's send this early. Let's send that one early. Get some extra trophies in there. We're at 18 right now, and I'm still trying to figure out this, pro this trophy system. Still trying to understand how it works. But, you know, new updates come new things to learn. I love it. So... Let's go ahead and send that away. I think we got a pretty solid little group right here. So let's stim up these lumberjacks that are chilling up here. Give them a little bit of extra boost because I think they need it. All right, this group over here, they are they just can't be beat. They're solid. Taking out those classes, no problem at all. I believe this is the last wave as well. It is. All right, we're just finishing off this one area. Let's get that stim in there. Try to give them a little bit more juice for this last little push we have. Two minutes left. Take out that Colossus, please. Come on. There we go. 306 plus the time bonus. What are we going to get? 79. I'll take it. That will take us up to 385. Cleared it, and that should finish off Vancouver for us. Yep, up to 1375. Bypassed it by 175 trophies. Easy peasy, guys. That's all I got to do. So, I'm so far. Ooh, Mercenary. Oh, it's game over, guys. Mercenary is my favorite troop by far. Well, it's definitely on the top of the list. Outlaws are all right, but mercenaries can't be beat. Do I have one of those guys? Okay, I'm going to be rotating a mercenary into my group right here. She's going to be replacing one of these gunfighters. 
but definitely upgrade a mercenary when you get it they're amazing i have one on my main account it's level 20 level 22 they can just tear up tons of these mutated lower health guys tons of drones they're just ridiculous they're so good so i actually was working on upgrading my gunfighter but i'm gonna go ahead and take a break from that and get my mercenary up to level five and then we're just gonna slowly work our way down the line get the rest of these guys up but let's go train the mercenary here mercenary where are you hiding i have three of them what have i been doing all right let's start that train let's get that going I need 60 more coins so I can repair this. Uh, definitely want to get to that very soon. Then I can start upgrading multiple people at once, which is always very nice. So 50 seconds here. We'll have that ready. I'm just going to work on upgrading that. I'm getting to that level 5 as fast as possible. Research was... I complete. I now have the flare. Flare is awesome. Um, don't have mod stuff cocktail up. Have, I don't have that yet, but we'll have that soon. Resource wise... Let's collect those, get some free resources. I am always happy to take that. And guys, that's going to conclude this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little let's play with the beginners and whatnot. Guys, thanks so much for watching as always. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.